What's going on YouTube? Kai here checking out with another video. Hey, today, today we got the war in the DMV. This right here is DC jail inmate attacked by guard. Let's go on and get into it. It's your boy, the war in the DMV. Seal Team 6. Mmm. Mmm. get Yay. Bernardo, for real though, I am very upset. I'm heated. I'm steaming. An inmate has been attacked by a guard, man. It's a clear sight of abuse. I'm not here to slander DC jail. I'm not here to slander nobody. What I'm here to do is, I'm here to say that these correctional officers need to do better. They be treating people like they inmates. Like, you go home at the end of the day. 9 o'clock, you clock out. 7 a.m., you clock out. Why are you treating these people like animals, man? I'm tired of it. I'm sick of it. DC has to do better. Prison has to do better in the overall because we are all people and we are not animals. And we have to stand up from the outside to support the people from the inside because until sure. we do, their voice will never be heard. And I am about to post the footage now. It's you, know, you know the crazy part about that is, though, like, you can get a lawsuit like jails be getting lawsuits even from the outside like the family be suing the jails and be winning too any type of corruptivity that's going on inside of a jail like somebody died or things like that nature like a, a bad beating a brutal beating uh people that be in a hole for an excessive amount of time like bro jail, uh jails be getting their ass taxed like Hell of a lawsuit. It's going to be on this video, so do not click off. This video is coming up in three, two, one. I ain't got to touch. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. I ain't touching it, bro. Stop the shit out. I'm touching it. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to I mean, in this instance, though, bro, like, just do what these niggas tell you, bro. You already in jail, bro. Now you about to get more time, a song on officer, shit like that. And it's like, I don't know, we don't know the whole backstory, but, bro, they want to be you no know, disrespectful to you. Like, you ain't handcuffed. You got the freedom to walk around free. You know what I mean? Just, they telling you do whatever. Go do whatever the fuck they, you got to do. Like, do whatever you got to do so you can go home, bro. Like, y'all niggas be too fucking tough. I get it. You don't want to be in the situation that you in. But just do what you got to do so you don't got to get more jail time, bro. I don't even know this nigga. But they going to word things. They going to make shit look a certain type of way. You ain't going to ever win in these type of situations. But that's why you got to talk to the people on the outside, your family. Tell them, like, hey, build up this case. Talk to the warden. You feel me? Like, talk to the people in high positions so things can get worked out. But 
Yeah, in a situation like this, bro, you ain't gonna ever win. Like, especially when they just telling you, hey, you gotta, you gotta go over here. You already hostile, like, bro, I'm not doing that. All right, okay, cool. You already know which way it's gonna go. Like, bro, you, it's common sense. Like, you already know which way it's gonna go. So before we even get to that point of anything transpiring, bro, all right, what you want me to do? You do this? Just so I can get back to my housing unit, so I can get back to where I need to go. But I don't know. We we all can say what we are doing in this situation. I'm not gonna ever be in jail. Look, we just gonna get that clear. I ain't no jail nigga. I ain't no nigga that's trying to go to jail. I say this all the time, but I love my freedom. I love being able to wake up when I want to. I had the freedom to leave when I want to, do whatever the fuck I wanna do, drive my car, my fucking do whatever. I love the freedom to do whatever I wanna do. I don't want no I don't want none of this. Three officers surrounding me, I'm by myself. It's all on their side. They got the cameras. They can manipulate the cameras. They can manipulate everything. It's all on their side. I don't even want to be around these niggas. I love the freedom that, that we have. And all you got to do is just follow certain rules and not even just be in these niggas' way. Oh, yeah. But I understand standing up for our rights, too. We got rights, too. But... Yeah, in this situation right here, bro, just leave these niggas alone, bro. Do what they ask you to do so you can go about your business, bro. You can go back and be with the men. Trap it on out, bro. I'm trapping, I'm doing my doing my little one two so I can be with the men. We hang out with the men. Do my whatever time you got. Go home. But fighting these niggas and these niggas gonna wear shit a certain way and make you look like you the one that's the Instigator, the aggressor. Nah, let's get out of here. This, bro. You can't touch me. You can't cuff me, bro. Come on, bro. You can't cuff me, bro. How the fuck you keep cuffing me and then tell me cuff me? What the fuck? You cuff me, bro. What the fuck? You cuff me, bro. You me, bro. You me, bro. Nigga don't need to be no motherfucker security. Whatever the fuck he is, he don't need to be no motherfucker CO. Just, this nigga mad. Nigga still trying to go in that bitch. Like, hey, bro, you got a whole motherfucker body cam boy. I know the family put this bitch out. They had to, cause ain't boy ain't no motherfucking way. But this how that shit be looking, bro. Like, bro, they could do whatever to you in that bitch, bro. We hear the stories of motherfucking inmates dying randomly, COs packing these niggas up, smashing these. Man, come on, bro. I don't want no pause. It's a dirty game. Shit, real life be a dirty game, bro. Hell to the fucking no. Imagine if them three officers ain't take. Nah, come on, man. Come on, man. Shorty already cuffed up. Man, Shorty would have put that motherfucker with a baton. 
whatever. Like, nigga would have really did fucking damn, man. Hell nah. Y'all love this shit, though. Y'all love this shit. Y'all love this jail shit, bro. I don't see the, I don't see it, bro. I don't see the, I don't see the thrill in this shit. This shit, I would never, bro. Fuck no. Boy, the one at DMV. And let's put an end to CEOs trying to break people's arms. Let's put an end to CEOs and police using procedure to grab people's necks. Let's get that out the picture 100%. Seal Team 6. And we stand up for those who cannot stand up for themselves. Yeah, nah, that's wild as shit, though. Like, that shit real loud and wicked. Like, I don't, I don't be liking none of this shit, because, um, just imagine if Shorty, the footage got out some way. I believe it was from the family, you know what I mean? He probably made a phone call, like, hey, this transpired, like, woo, woo, woo. I need y'all to get this, get this footage, get this record of, you know, the assault, this assault uh, record, and put it out. But dog, oh, that's hell no. Nah, that don't need to be no motherfucking officer. Nigga got too much anger. Nigga really like if he had them three officers that like said nah, nah, nah go go go, son. That shit would have been way worse than what it was, bro.